How's it going, everybody? Good. Uh, my name is Jeremy McClellan. I'm a stand-up comedian, and uh, I do a lot of work in political activism, as well as uh, interfaith work and social media. Uh, I wanted to talk, I was asked to talk on like fake news and alternative facts, and uh, I wanted to speak for a second on the supply and the demand for fake news and for alternative facts, because there is a supply, you know, when we talk about, you know, which media groups and which, uh, you know, corporations are pushing um, false news, um, but there's also a demand demand for it. There's demand for it. There's demand for it within us. We love it. We love reading news that fits what we believe. Like we love hearing news and hearing stories that fit with our preconceived ideas. And so there is a demand for it uh, almost like drugs. Right? We love it. We love it when we read stuff like that. Um, and there's always been propaganda um, in the world. There's always been propaganda. We've always had propaganda from the government, from corporations, all that kind of stuff. But now more and more, you get to pick your own propaganda. Right? You get to you know, follow the news stories and follow the news outlets that tell you what you want to believe. And more and more, we see our country and our society moving to where people are living in different factual universes. Right? Where people, like I have relatives. I have relatives who are very Islamophobic. They do not follow the same stories as I do. And uh, they don't have the same experiences as I do. They live in a totally different world. And it's really, really difficult to break through that if people are living in different universes. Um, and as activists, as people who uh, share news stories, there is a huge temptation to share news stories that seem perfect. Because the world is messy. Right? Every journalist will tell you that like, the more you dig into a story, the more complicated it gets. Right? And that's true of any event that ever happens. Any new story you see, it's going to be very complicated. There's going to be, like, the villains are not going to be perfect villains. The victims are not going to be perfect victims. And if you insist on them being perfect, if you insist on perfect news stories, and you follow perfect news stories, then you will see and you will feel yourself drawn towards fake news and to alternative facts. And, uh, and there's no know that like, there's very little incentive for those of us who are on social media to actually get the facts right. I know that if I see a news story and it seems perfect, I can tell right away. If I post this, it will get a thousand shares. It will go viral. And I know that for a fact. And then what happens the next day when it turns out the story isn't true? Right? Well, then I'll delete it. And will I lose all those new followers? No, they'll stay. Right? Zero incentive. There is zero incentive for a lot of news outlets and for you know, activists to get stories right. But if we aren't interested in misleading people, if we all want to actually live in the same informational universe so that we are all on the same page, then we have to be careful. We have to resist that temptation because it's a real, real temptation. And you, and, and, and you guys know this. There is a... Um, uh, I always tell people there's two kinds of people. One is like people who really, really trust the media. And the other kind are people who have ever had a media story written about them. <laughs> because if you've ever had a story written about you, you know that it's all, it's, it's very based, it's loosely based on facts. There's misquotes. I've been misquoted when I had an email interview. I'm like, all you have to do is cut and paste. Why are you misquoting me? It's very, very easy to do that. And um, it's... Uh, it's, it sort of reminds me, there's this, uh, there's this great uh, observation by Michael Crichton that uh, you ever read a news story, perhaps about Islam or perhaps about the country or you know, something that you really know a lot about, and you notice all the different factual inaccuracies. You, you notice all the problems with the story, right? The misquotes, you're like, this person has no idea what they're talking about, right? And that's what happens when you read a story about something you know a lot about. And then you turn the page, and you read a news story where you don't know a lot about the subject. And you think, well, this is probably true. <laughs> well, <laughs> you have forgotten something in that, in that page turn. You have forgotten what you learned um, for that. So I think that as, as activists, as people on social media, we have to pay very close attention to getting stories right, uh, to not falling for uh, things that are comforting, the things that we know uh, will get, you know, will, you, you know, will become popular. And uh, just let reality be messy, because it is. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's right.